This time I'm going to uh, go over a quick presentation for a lot of programmers that actually work with uh, uh, but then Eclipse or Spring Source uh, Toolkit or uh, with, with actually uh, Maven and uh, Subversion because a lot of you programmers don't realize uh, whenever you're working with a Maven project with Subversion inside Eclipse or uh, STS there's a couple of settings that you have to do for every single project. So uh, this demonstration is going to help you guys uh, know uh, how to start a project and, and then also the settings that you should have at a minimum on every single uh, project that is going to use uh, you know, Maven and Subversion inside Eclipse or STS. So the first thing is working with Eclipse or STS with Maven and Subversion. Uh, what am I going to go over quickly in this quick video is, uh, let's see, how to start a project in Eclipse and STS, how to set up the project to work with Subversion, and how to add version tags inside your code. So, so then uh, your code will actually have all the Subversion information. But so uh, if you make Java docs from it, all your subversion information will be inside of it, so you'll know it's the exact version of your code that's using. Okay, so, well, the first thing I'm going to tell you is uh, how to make a new Eclipse project uh, from inside Eclipse or STS. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. What you do is uh, click on File, Maven, and Maven Project, and then pick the... Uh, ID of the type of the project. Let's see if I could uh, kind of pull that up at the same time. Let's go down here, and I don't have a clips running. Uh, sorry, STS or clips running yet. So I'm going to just bring it up real quickly. And as you can see, I'm working on a Mac, and I'm start starting actually Spring's Tool Suite. I actually prefer this over the Clean Eclipse because uh, I do a lot of Spring's programming, and it has a lot of cool functionality that you might need. So basically, here's my um, Eclipse, and you know what? Just let me uh, bring it into another window so it's a little easy. I'm going to bring it into this desktop to make it a little easier on me okay and now basically to start a new project as I said you go into file new then you go into maven project and and since I'm doing a web project I'm gonna go down here and pick a maven web type and basically you know group ID I'm gonna say Orga Smith and video demo and then I hit next that's uh pretty much how you do it that way now let's go back to the presentation okay so we already know oh my presentation has stopped let's uh see if I could get back my presentation okay good oh it looks like it moved ahead a little bit. Let's see if I, I hit okay, preview. Okay, so so then you click on file, Maven, Minio Project, and fin, and that's how you make the project. Okay. Uh, now to work with Subversion, and because you're using Maven, there's a couple of things that you should go into. First thing is I would right mouse click on the project, go into Team, and set the properties, and enter for property name SVN Anor. And then enter the following property values target dot class path dot settings dot project dot WTP module. What this does it tells uh Eclipse slash STS not to check in those following directories or files into your subversion. Because uh the first thing is you really don't want to check in the target that that your project made. You really just want the source code and some files and the class path you really don't you shouldn't have all the settings or the dot profile or the dot ptag. So basically you right mouse click on the project, you click team, set properties, enter SVN or NOR, 
and then the following properties. So this will set up Subversion not to check in those projects as you're updating them. Uh, we did that slide. I hit B. Okay, next. Uh, how to add Subversion tags to your Java code. Now, now that we know that you are working with Subversion, uh, it would be really cool if Subversion could tell you the last author of the project, the revision number, and the time it was last changed. Basically, you would insert the code that I'm showing you on the screen inside your Java code, and then the next time your code gets checked out, Mave, uh, sorry, Subversion will actually give that information in those tags. It will give you the author of the last check-in, the revision number of what you checked out, and the last change that was made to the file. Very useful information. Um, a lot of programmers do not do this. I would recommend highly to put this information into your Java code so you would actually be able to max up with exact source in the file. But there is one more step. To get all this to work, uh, you have to do a couple more things. You have to, once again, click on uh, Project Team and Set Properties. And the property that you're going to be setting in SVN is SVN Keywords. And then you need to enter the following text into your property. Last change, author ID, revision, and head URL. And then click, click the option that says set property recursively, meaning to do this for all the files in the project. And by doing this, you will be setting up um, your Eclipse slash STS to tell Subversion to actually use those keywords in all your files and to look for them. So basically that's everything that you learned and uh, you know I will rerun this at a quick pace one more time just so we get it and again let's go through it at a hyper speed this time okay um, to to set up a new Maven project in Eclipse or STS it's easy you right mouse click on file maven and then maven project and then you pick the type of project you're doing the next thing you should always do is if you're working with a team with subversion you should go into project team set properties put the property name svn anor and add the following values target class path settings project and and WTP module. If you could uh, realize the last four of them have a dot in front of it because they're hidden files, you should definitely not be checking these files into subversion. Uh, you should always put a uh, code uh, versioning tags inside your code so subversion could give you the last author, last revision, and the last change inside your code. It's very important that you do that. So I highly recommend it. And but by putting that in your code, you also have to set up a clip slash STS to tell Subversion that those are keywords. And by the way, you do that is property team set properties property name, enter SVN dot keywords, enter the text property, and last change date, author ID, revision, and head URL, and click set recursor. And that's it. That's all you need to know. And I hope this is useful. You could go to my website and find some more tips. Please leave comments of other stuff you would want to learn. And I'm willing to show it to you guys. Thank you.